Alex and Kiwi, written and illustrated by Miss Trude, second grade class. Once upon a time, there was a teeny tiny mouse. She loved to relax on the rocks of the African desert and gaze at the beautiful sunrise. This mouse was a special mouse. Her name was Kiwi. One day, while Kiwi was peacefully relaxing on her favorite rock, watching the sunrise, she was interrupted by a ginormous horn owl. As the owl scooped down to catch his prey, Kiwi skirted into a mouse-sized hole that was in a falling log. As Kiwi sat inside the log, she waited, shivering for fear. When the owl turned and left, Kiwi searched quickly for an escape plan. Suddenly she spotted a way out and dotted through a giant hole in the side of the log. Because Kiwi was running extremely fast for safety, she was exhausted and puffing for air. Finally, she discovered an enormous, yellow, warm, and comfortable Now, Kiwi climbed slowly up the rock, just as Kiwi was planning to stay and relax for a while, the rock began to move. And before Kiwi could even squeak, she was snatched up by the hand of a ferocious African lion. As the lion opened his mouth wide and began to eat his dessert, Kiwi squeaked. Stop! Please let me go, she begged as she dangled like a yo-yo from the lion's paw. The confused lion looked at Kiwi and smiled. Hi, my name is Alex. What? What's your name? The lion asked. Kiwi, whispered the mouse. Poor Kiwi was terrified and shaking from head to tail. Kiwi asked Alex shyly, why were you holding me so tight? Could you please let me go? Alex replied, on one condition, Kiwi, will you be my friend? She was astonished. Yes, indeed, now will you please let me go? Kiwi pleaded. Alex slowly and gently lowered his paws so that Kiwi could be free. The two new best friends waved goodbye and wandered off in their separate ways. Surprised at this unusual new friendship, Kiwi sprinted back to tell her babies what had happened. Meanwhile, Alex walked happily back to the baby king of the African desert. This brave lion told the elephant giraffe and the other lion to help him protect Kiwi. Because Alex was so busy talking to the other animals, he did not notice the camouflage jeep sl slowly creeping closer and closer. As the jeep was approaching, the animals startled in all different directions. They they were startled at the sight of the jeep because they knew the, these men were poachers. The ground rumbled as the man hammered stakes into the hard rocky ground. They were accepting a trap to capture the animal. Alex, 
Alex was on a as he pranced through the outstanding forest, the giant green trees towered over Alex like like the Empire State Building. The at uh, chimpanzees and the pirates try to warn Alex about the trap, but he could not understand what he w- were w- trying to say. As Alex was trying to listen to his forest friends, he felt something weird, rough, and tight around his ankle. By the time Alex realized what it was, it was too late. Alex could ask what he was lifted up high into the extremely hot air. He scratched and kicked, trying to escape from the tight rust net. That was swinging him from flight to flight. He yelled out to his male friend, Kiwi, please come help me. Alex began to panic as he waited. Especially, but no one came to his rescue. On the other side of the desert, Kiwi heard an extremely soft, faint noise. The small gray mouse stopped quickly to listen and he went the unusual sound was Kiwi slowly sneak towards the noise as it grew louder and she realized that it was her new best friend Alex, he had been captured. Kiwi sprinted quickly to rescue him. When Kiwi arrived to help Alex, he tried to explain to her what had happened. He told her everything from beginning to end. Kiwi brushed thorns and a deer. She knew exactly what she had to do. Kiwi used her large sharp teeth to nibble, chop, and scratch Alex's feet. Kiwi worked for hours and hours and hours. The rope began to snap, crackle, and break. Alex tried 
to help Kiwi as much as possible, but it was too hard for him to move, and he was exhausted. The rope began to loosen its grip on Alex. Finally, it broke, and Alex tumbled to freedom. He landed on his back, and as he hit the ground, he let out a ferocious roar. The jungle birds, Carlos and Martha, tried to help break Alex's fall by holding the rope in their beaks, but Alex weight was too much for these tiny pigeons to handle. Alex tried to gain the strength to stand firm on his tired, shaky legs. The, the rope pl plopped on the ground and Alex kicked it aside. Alex lowered his head so he could talk to Kiwi. He said, told her, Thank you for helping him when he needed a true friend. Kiwi smiled a big happy smile and puffed a sigh of relief as she told Alex, No problem, I was just returning a favor. Kiwi bolted back home to check on her sweet, tiny, furry babies. The moral of the story is, no matter a person's reputation, always treat the others you the way you want to be treated.